everybody, Stu here. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Marshall DSL-100H head. Um, this is an all-tube head, and let's get into the specifics. Um, this head is going to give you two separate channels. You're going to have the Ultra Gain channel found on the left here, and then you're going to have the Classic Gain channel found on the right. And it's kind of interesting how they split the channels up here, and we're going to get into that in just a second. Over here, you have two separate reverb controls, one for the ultra channel right here. The other knob is found for the classic channel right here. Um, the reverb is passable. Um, let's give that a test right now. Passable, but you'd probably want a reverb pedal uh, running before it or into the effects loop. You actually have five levels of EQ here. You have the three standard EQ, which is bass, middle, and treble. Um, you also have two other knobs over here for EQ. One is presence, which is very common um, on amp heads, and another one is resonance. Um, you also have an added tone shift here, um, which is essentially just a mid scoop button. Uh, they just branded it as Tone Shift. Um, with the Ultra Gain channel, you have two modes. You have your Lead 1 and your Lead 2. Right now, we're on Lead 1. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Pretty classic Marshall sound there. Um, I'm digging that. So let's switch over to the other Ultra channel and see how that sounds. Press up a button. So more response, it's a little more snappy and you can tell that there's a little bit of a gain boost there. Not huge, but there's, there's a gain boost that, that you can feel. Um, playing around with the presence knob, if we're gonna hang around on the ultra gain here, we're in lead two. Now let's see, well actually let's start all the way to the left here. We'll just start with the first one and deal with resonance and see how that sounds. Turn it all the way down now since it was almost all the way up. All the way up. Seems like it's a boost EQ to the bass frequencies. Um, that's at least what I'm hearing. So if you want a more bassy tone, take your resonance knob, turn that all the way up, and that'll get you there. Um, if we do it about halfway at about noon, um, still kind of boost the bass up a little bit. And for etiquette's sake, right now bass is at about noon. Mids are at about 10 o'clock and then treble is pretty much boosted all the way up and that's what we're going to be going off of. So let's turn the resonance at about nine o'clock there to remove some of the bass, bassy aspect of it and let's play with presence. Right now presence is turned all the way up to 10. Let's go ahead and turn it down. So it kind of flattens the tone out um, if you turn it all the way down and you have no presence at all. I'm personally not a fan of that sound. It sounds like you're kind of playing through a uh, 
through an old time radio. So let's go ahead and get that turned back up. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and hit the tone shift here. Play around with that button. lot of gain flowing through this right now um, almost almost too much so let's hit the tone shift button again <laughs> that's what that does and like I said tone shifts kind of a mid scoop button there um, the bass knob um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but does have kind of a wide effect on your tone. So let's turn the bass knob all the way down. Have it about 12 o'clock. And it's even at 12 o'clock, it's pretty bassy. So let's see what it sounds like all the way up. It's almost so much bass, you can almost hear kind of a pop coming out of it. So we're going to roll that back. I'm actually going to take it from noon, maybe do this at about 9, 10 o'clock right there. Uh, mid self-explanatory. Again, if we turn mids all the way down, we get the classic uh, scooped mid 80s thrash tone. <laughs> Reminiscent of Slayer. Uh, we turn it up to about 12 o'clock. And that's the beauty of mids. It, it, it kind of evens everything out. It's the middle frequency. So you can definitely hear, um, especially with chord progressions, if you do a lot of chord stuff, you're going to want um, at least your mids turned up to half. You're going to want to hear all those changes. So let's turn the mids all the way up. See what we get now. This is probably the only head I've ever played where I actually like the mids turned all the way up. Um, I'm not the biggest uh, gent player or anything like that, so I don't typically like a whole lot of mids, but I actually like the way that sounded, especially with, you know, chord stuff. I actually really like that tone right there. Um, I maybe roll off the mids just a little bit, but I, I like the mids turned all the way up on this head. Um, treble has been turned up all the way, so let's roll that all the way down. See what we get. Pure garbage. So let's go ahead and turn that up to about noon and see what we get. Better, um, definitely more of a full sound instead of that completely flat tone that we heard without any treble. Then we turn the treble all the way up. And definitely a lot better. Um, we've covered both channels that you get with the ultra channel, which is lead one and lead two. Now we're gonna switch over to the classic gain channel. And it's this channel where we're actually going to get our clean tone 
and the classic dirty tone. So first up right now is going to be the clean tone. And let's be sure that we have a little reverb on our classic channel right here because what's clean tone without a little bit of reverb? One thing I truly do like about the Marshall Heads is their clean tones, just how poppy and responsive all the notes are. Um, that's kind of unique to Marshall uh, with how uh, all your chords are going to sound and just how responsive and poppy everything is. I truly do love that. That's, that's one cool thing that they have done. Um, dynamically speaking, when you play with any kind of dynamics, you can kind of slap it, even with the neck pickup here, which is kind of warm, you know? All you have to do is give it a little, some dynamics, hit it at the right angle, and you can kind of get a brighter tone that you'll get with the neck pickup, you know? You're just... And that's all with just one pickup. I mean, you can go from the warm kind of. Uh, really cool sounding. But just for giggles, let's go ahead and switch over to the bridge pickup and see what we have there. Again, very responsive, um, very bouncy, responsive feel, which I truly do love out of this head. Um, so now, if we go ahead and hit the channel select button in the Classic Gain channel, now what we're going to get is that very classic British ACDC style. So with this channel, you're going to want to play a lot of big open chords. Like that's just what you hear. You think of the Who, you think of ACDC, and you want to just rock out. And you want to do that all day long. Um, very, very fun to have that. Overall, this head is a martial head, and you're going to get every tone that you expect out of this head. Um, this is an all tube head and it performs extraordinarily nice. Um, I really do enjoy this head. I believe it retails for about $7.99 um, in the US here. And with this head, you can achieve a lot of tones. Um, I found that it can achieve more of classic tones. And when I, when I mean that, I don't mean like classic rock of only like the Who and ACDC, but you know, if you want Slayer, you want Metallica, you want old Dream Theater, you want, you know, uh, you can get some Sabbath sounds, you can get Zach Wilde sounds out of here. I mean, it, it's Marshall. You know what you're getting with Marshall and that and that's the beauty of them. I mean, you, you've heard it. it. It sounds great across all boards. Um, with the extra resonance channel that you get, on here you can that just adds another level of you to customize your tone to get the tone that you want out of it whether you're trying to emulate somebody else's tone you're trying to find your tone this is a, a great head to achieve that um, a little more expensive it's, it's more on the expensive side but you get a great head and you get great tones out of it you get leads you get your rhythms you get your solo tones 
um, you get excellent clean. Uh, I really, I, I know I've said it before, but I really like the clean channel out of it. Um, when you're playing on the clean channel and you feel how responsive it is, just on your fingers while you're playing through it, you're gonna know exactly what I mean when I say I, I love the clean channel. Um, this head will come with the foot switch, so you can do everything with your foot while you're playing live and jamming with the band at the practice base. So no worries there. Um, and I think that's just about gonna do it uh, for this review. If you have any questions, comment below, let me know. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.